Good afternoon, one and all. Welcome back to Vance Homestead. <laughs> um, we're going to be cutting this video pretty close because Stop. normally Stop. I videotape one day, then I edit the next day and publish it that day. But I couldn't video anything yesterday because I got home extremely late. And so now we've got to videotape today and edit today and publish today. So hopefully, this gets out on time. If not, I apologize. But we got the email. The chicks are in the mail. Did you grab? No, I grabbed the keys. So we have to get that brooder set up, get everything put in place. <laughs> oh, that does stink. It's so bad. Oh, it's my wife's. Like, as soon we'll call as I it a failed project. Out of it, I just left it for way too long and didn't do anything with it. That would be the compost. <laughs> My failed compost. The failed I got compost. Lazy. Yeah. Can't get lazy with your compost, guys. Or it just turns into rotting <laughs> muck. No, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah. But uh, today's importance is. Is that Phil? Huh? Oh, wondering who's down there. Yeah. I am pretty sure horizontally or the way it's sitting right now this won't fit through the doorway pretty sure so we're gonna have to turn it on its side to carry it which kind of defeats the purpose of the handles so maybe in the future i might have to move those handles hold on let me go through let me see what's going on are we coming through? yeah all right gotta go somebody's walking up to our gate some stranger let's go check them out all right false alarm was not coming to our house. So back to business. Let's see if we can carry this. I don't see, think it's gonna fit through the door. I would not No? Man. It's like Bam. so close. Cool. You're there. We've got two hooks up here. All right, this is from the other brooder that we had. And now since we have a bigger one, I'll probably have two heat lamps. One, two. Well, probably one to start. And we'll just see, we'll hang two and only turn one on. Yeah, we'll see how hot And it see is. how hot it gets and if they're crowding too much. So this room's not very... Not very well insulated. No, not at all. But, all right, one down. The lighter one, but this is the heavy one because it had the tin. The other one's much lighter. I didn't know we, still, I didn't know we had this stuff. A regolite. Yeah, they're regolites for uh, their house. And then you've got clover seed. <laughs> I forgot. Can you put that out in the winter? Is that like a No, well, thing? yeah. I mean, it'll die off in the summer, but. Only when it's really tough, though, right? Yeah. I mean, that'll grow all the way through May to June. I forgot I had all this. When the heck did I, I get this? This is a five pound bag. This that was is a, a while lot. ago. That was like a few months ago. Crimson Clover. Oh my gosh, this is going to grow really well. I wonder how long that would take to grow. I need to research how long it takes clover to sprout. Is my tree doing anything? In the sand? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Is that it? Well, it takes forever to. I don't remember. Okay. This, <laughs> the shirt keeps getting stuck. Oh. Okay. Alright. Big brooder in a house. That's big. <laughs> I need to get some more pine shavings. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's get everything ready. We need to get the water for them and both feeders. What's up, cheekies? Don't have any sunflower seeds today. I know, I know, you're used to used to me giving you some treats. Oh, you're giving up on me already, are you? I walk up here and here they come running. I don't throw out anything and they abandon me. You're still scratching and pecking. Doing what chickens do best. I think my tomato plant's gonna go right there. Drop some squat. So while Shannon's loading up all the stuff for the chicks, we're just gonna show how we're gonna set up the whole brooder. We do it a little differently between the first day and the first, and after seven days. Hold on. So, the first day, we put the food and the water just straight on the, the pine shaving. Um, we don't raise it up or put it over anything. Um, it just goes straight on top because we want to make sure that they could easily get to it. After about a week, maybe less, maybe a, like five days, depending on how, how fast they grow, we'll add some blocks to the brooder, put it on top of like these blocks so that there's less chance of pine shavings get into it. And we're gonna go ahead and set that up. Fluffy butt hut. Excuse me, my dear. Can I see what your your magic has done? Hmm. Are you pecking at my tripod? <laughs> okay. Where's the tripod? <laughs> what do you think that is? All right, slight change of plans. We were, we have to go get some small waterers. We have a bunch of the big ones, but I am, they knocked down the fence over there. Or is that part of me knocking down the fence when I was trying to get out? You did, I can't get it in because there's water. Oh, oops. I put half that in this one, this side. There you go. I need to get a, my second light. I'm gonna go find it, hang it from there. So I'll have this right here. And we have to go get two waterers. I think this will be enough of a feeder for for one, we'll put the feed kind of here, and uh, the water is probably like right there, and then they could run out into here, but more than likely they'll hang out in this nice little warm room for at least the first week. We shall see. Let me go find that other light. I don't know where it's at. Oh, look at what the light wifey found. Needs a good cleaning now. It's crazy how dusty. Thank you. Wondering what you were going to be bringing them? Yeah, I just gave them some sandwich leftovers. Oh. Have your flock. I love my flock. <laughs> Chickens are so far my fave. Yeah. Definitely mine. Easy. That's why we're getting 30 more. They're fun. So my initial 
Just look at it. Uh, I think two lamps might be overkill. I'm gonna keep two lamps in there just because I need them. But as of right now, I don't think I will. But we'll just have to see. So there you have it. Full chicken brooder ready for chicks. Got their feed in here. And we just have to go get two waters and we'll be good to go. Now that we are set and ready for chicks, time to end the video. And I am sitting in my editing studio next to my biggest critiques. And hopefully I can get this out in time. Until next time.